Good evening and welcome to Q&A. I'm Tony Jones and joining us tonight. West Australian Parliamentary Committee investigating alcohol and illicit drug problems, Chairwoman Janet Woolard and, Chief, and Odyssey House Chief Executive James Pitts. Please welcome our panel. Thank you, and you can join the Twitter conversation by using the Quanda hashtag. Tonight we will be discussing what the legal drinking age should be, with reasons for and against. Our first question comes from Kieran Sotchfield. The legal drinking age in Australia is 18. Coincidentally, this is also when teenagers start driving. Mrs. Willard, what are your thoughts on raising the minimum legal drinking age and the number of lives that would potentially be saved? We now have clear evidence of the harm that is done by excessive alcohol consumption. By raising the legal drinking age, we would protect youngsters from mental anguish, traffic trauma and violence. And what is the probable outcome of those who start drinking later? We've concluded that those who start drinking later are more moderate drinkers than those who start drinking too young. I mean, we could cause a generational change in Australian culture towards moderate adult alcohol use gradually becoming more normal. Okay, moving on to the next question from Andy Guzniak. The point of raising the legal drinking age limit would be to reduce the amount of alcohol-related accidents and deaths. However, would raising the legal age limit really be the most beneficial response? Are there any other alternative ways? Let's hear from the other side of the panel. James Pitts, you've been in the alcohol and drug field for over 30 years. Look, I don't think raising the legal drinking age would work to tackle alcohol issues. What we would have much more success at is having a much more targeted education campaign to try and get young people, in particular, to understand the adverse effects alcohol has on the brain development. We've had a lot more research and a lot more data that indicates the most rapid period of brain development is between the ages of 12 and 25. And Certainly, alcohol significantly interferes with the brain development of this particular age group. Our, our best shot is really to have a targeted education campaign that helps young people to understand the possible harms associated with drinking during that age. And if a higher legal drinking age limit was brought up, what do you think it would do? I don't think it would deter many young people from drinking alcohol. I think the drinking culture is so ingrained that it would do little effect. Actually, raising the legal drinking age to 21 in the US caused 70% of high school students to abstain from drinking compared to the 42% in Australia. Now tell me, raising the legal drinking age would have little effect. But okay, okay, um, let's move quickly on to the next question from Lisa Minivan. An 18 year old has the right to vote, is considered an adult and can be tried in court if he makes a false judgment and commits a crime. So an 18 year old is capable of making every other decision as an adult, but incapable of making a decision of whether or not they should drink? Janet Willard? Well, an 18 year old is capable of making decisions sober. When intoxicated, they can perform reckless activities that can result in death. We are in an extraordinary situation where people have drinking contests, and this is socially acceptable behaviour. While it is justifiable for the legal drinking age to be 18, it'd be much better if it was 21, as they have a um, better tolerance to alcohol. Well, actually, although this may be true, in most cases you don't really know how much you can handle until you try it out. Tolerance doesn't come with age, it comes with the realisation of responsibility. There are some people who are more responsible at the age of 15 than some are at the age of 50. Well, the majority of 15-year-olds are less responsible than 50-year-olds. Okay, well that's all we'll have time for tonight. Please thank our panel, Janet Woolard and James Pitts. Thank you. Ne next Monday we will be joined by Andrea Minervan, Kiralee Guzina and Liza Schofield to talk about how and why they are so awesome. But until then, good night. Doing stuff. Yeah, bro, like, it's not cool. The point of raising the 
raising the lake. Come here, you cute little fur boy. 